I met a young black woman who is 36 years old. She has been suffering heavy bleeding during her menstrual flow and severe pains in her lower abdomen for about six years. Every month during her menstrual flow, she does not go to the office because she feels like falling down whenever she tries to stand or do any activities due to the bleeding. After some discussions with her, she decided to go see her doctor. And hear what the doctor noticed about this beautiful lady. Juliana Ome is the name. Fibroid is the topic. The womb of a woman is built to carry baby for nine months. And for this reason, the womb is very thick and contains plenty of muscles, okay? Now, like every other part of the body, the muscles of the womb have cells, and these cells grow. So abnormal tumor in the womb of a woman, mostly found within the muscles of the womb, is what we call fibroids. And fibroids can also form outside the muscles of the womb, maybe on the surface or inside where the baby is supposed to stay. And they are mostly found in women who are within the age of childbearing, that is the reproductive age. Fibroid is the most common solid tumor of the womb in women who are within the age of childbearing. Fibroid is also the commonest non-cancerous tumor of the womb. Fibroid grows in size and it takes time to grow. It can grow from the size of the head of a pin to as big as a football. And it takes years for this growth to happen. And there can be many fibroids at the same time inside the womb. They are round in shape and some of them are oval in shape. There are different categories of fibroids. Some are inside the womb where we'll be supposed to stay. That's a submucous fibroid. Some are within the muscles, the intramural fibroids. Some are on the surface of the womb outside and subserous fibroids. And some are even in the neck of the womb, cervical fibroids and different places. But the exact cause of fibroids is not known. Although some women are more likely to have fibroids than other women, these things are called risk factors. So they include black race. African women, African American women are more likely to have fibroids than their Asian and white counterparts, women who have not given birth before, obesity, women who are obese, women who have excess estrogen hormone, a woman whose mother or sisters had fibroids. Know that these things are risk factors, so they are not the causes. It's not because a woman has them, the most person must have fibroids, but if a woman has these things I just listed, the likelihood of developing fibroids will be higher, okay? And know that not all fibroids cause problems. These ones are called asymptomatic fibroids. Many women move around their daily activities not knowing they have fibroids. Some women they discovered accidentally, maybe they went to the hospital for antenatal care and during the scan, they noticed that they had fibroids. And what this means is that a woman who has fibroids can be pregnant as well, okay? For women whose fibroids cause problems, the commonest problems they have are excessive bleeding during monthly flow abdominal pain or they have abdominal enlargement their tummy will be big as if they are pregnant some of them feel dizzy they feel like falling because of too much you know bleeding some of them are not able to get pregnant after many years of trying to do so so we'll be having um, u um, urination all the time every time they are going to toilet to urinate because of the pressure of the fibroids on their bladder. Now, for you to confirm you have fibroids, you have to see your doctor, a gynecologist, for you to be sure that what you have is fibroids. Because these things I listed can also be caused by other conditions. Fibroid has treatment. It can be treated either by operation or use of medication or what we call expectant management. The doctor will discuss the case with the patient and pick the best treatment for the patient, depending on the patient's age patient's symptoms and whether the patient wishes to get pregnant or not. So women will want to get pregnant. So the kind of operation that will be done for them will be different from the ones that will be done for another woman who does not wish to get pregnant at all. What this means is that the treatment of fibroid, the cure is removal of the womb. Remember what I explained at the beginning? The womb is where the fibroid stays. So if you remove the womb, the woman will never have fibroids again. And this is called hysterectomy for those that don't want to give birth at all. If a woman still wants to give birth, a different operation will be done for her. The fibroid will be removed. The womb will be left in place. And it is called myomectomy. Now, if you have observed, okay, not everyone is a doctor. 
in the theater when a woman that has fibroid is being operated on if you see the way the uterus is being cut to remove all the pieces of fibroids especially if a woman has multiple of them then you will appreciate the fact that when a woman has undergone fibroid operation is pregnant she should not go to traditional birth attendant to go and push like hebrew come back to the hospital so that you be operated on please there are some kind of fibroids that when you see them I've once attended a fibrous surgery where the fibrous that was brought out from the womb of this woman filled a bucket. Very true. It filled the bucket and the way the womb was torn, you will not dare push a baby because the womb may rupture and the woman will bleed to death while giving birth. So please, if you have, if you have ever undergone um, operation for fibroid, when next you're pregnant, go to the hospital and make sure you deliver in the hospital so that the doctor will advise properly whether you will need operation. If they tell you need operation, don't argue. Operation is Hebrew. Watch my health talk on Hebrew birth, alive or dead. Operation is Hebrew. Watch my health talk on CS. If you are asked to do CS because you did fibroid, please obey the doctor so that you can stay alive, okay? So after op operation of fibroid, a woman can get pregnant, okay? Some couples that were suffering from infertility achieved pregnancy just by removing fibroid from the woman. And there are other types of fibroid operation called endoscopic operation. In this type, the patient will not be cut open. A special instrument is used with a computer to remove the fibroids. Please, women, don't die in silence. Go to the hospital and get some help. If a woman with fibroids does not get treated, it can cause her more problems, like severe shortage of blood, anemia. If she's pregnant, the fibroids will be growing with the baby and grow bigger. It can cause her problems like serious pain. It can make a baby not to grow well. The baby will be very small after nine months. It can even cause miscarriage or make the baby not to be positioned properly during you know, the fetal development. Now, ladies, fibroid is not a witchcraft. It is not a spiritual attack from village people. It is not a curse from gods of the land. If a woman develops fibroids, she did not commit any crime or suffering due to her sins. Any woman can have fibroids. Because of these lies, so women have fallen victims of unfortunate situations. They tell you not to go to the hostel because you will die if doctor operates on you. It is not true. Instead, they give you all kinds of herbal concussions and assure you that the fibroids will dissolve and you pass it out in urine or through feces. It is not true. Please, ladies, don't let anyone deceive you. Fibroid is a medical condition and it can be well taken care of. Do you know how many women have developed organ damage because of the concussions that they took? And yet, the fibroids are still there. Don't be victims of, of these people. People are so afraid. Once a doctor tells them that they have fibroids, they'll run from a herbalist to patent medicine store to church, back to a shrine and all that, suffering unnecessarily. There's no need to be afraid. Fibroids can be taken care of don't wait until it's too late some women are in cyclic torments every month they go through severe pain heavy bleeding and yet they remain in their homes because they are afraid suffering unnecessarily please women don't be afraid fibroid operation is safe it will help you live a healthy and quality life instead of staying in one place and dying come out go to the hospital get some help and regain your freedom now back to our story that beautiful black woman who went to see her doctor was told she had huge fibroid and an operation was done for her just fully recovered no more pains the last time we talked no more excess menstrual bleeding she's very happy healthy and even more beautiful i hope everyone out there who has fibroids will pick up courage and get help a lot of women have been helped so you too can be helped once again if you know better you will surely do better Thank you very much and you want to share this information with someone. Subscribe to my channel here yeah, and ask your questions in the comment section.